ben Danique en uh, vandaag gaat Theo mijn haar knippen en verven. Ja, yeah, Danique wants a color and so wants a small trim of her hair because uh, the ends are dry. Yeah. And uh, we're going for a light color and we cannot make uh, money uh, make us trim in her hair. So, we're gonna light it up. Let's do it. Here, you try. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's have fun. You can see the ends are a bit dry. So, but I'm gonna make her a standing haircut. Hello, friends on YouTube. Gonna do this young lady's hair. Now I'm gonna do this standing with the TCC1 care cut of Jaguar because the answer is right, but I really love long hair, although because she's a tall woman, you cannot see this when she's standing up. Cannot do the hair uh, hanging to the front, cut it with the TC1, and then kind of give her a new, wonderful, light blonde color with some money makers on the front. Let's stand up. Yes. Hey. I'm gonna work with uh, Olivia Garden Brush. <laughs> yeah, then she bends her head to the front. Work over the center of the skull, part the line to the neckline. Lay all the hairs to the front. I'm gonna tell you how I think with this kind of hairstyles. This is the length of her hair, the back. When she is standing like this, this angle in this position, the opposite line, is one length. You see, she has almost one length. There's a little bit layering on the front because this goes down and this goes straight. Gotta make the cut. It's with the bum thumb. Gotta stand on the side. Watch at the heads. Watch at the dry ends. Take first that what hangs down off. When I want to create some layering in the front, I know where the front is, of course, because the front is on the front. I just go in with my scissor and put a little bit of layering in it. Not too much. Do this slice cutting. On the other side, I also go up, watch at the opposite line on the other side. Now I need a comb. Wop, 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 wop. Get into the same line. Make the front a little bit layering, not too much, because this is a flat line. I can Turn a bit so you can see this. Maybe you have to make Sure. Yeah. So this is a straight line. And then to the back, it travels up. And also on this side. Now I'm certain that I have cut off all the dry ends. Turn also a bit to the front so you can see how I do slice cutting in the layering. So I just go in about 10 centimeters from the end and in the front. And only there where I think it's a bit thick, I give it a soft layering. Then also give it a point cut to get an even softer line. When you do the cut like this and you have your model or your customer standing, you ask them to throw the head back, but lay your hand on the back of her. Lay your hand on the back so uh, she cannot fall down. So now I ask her to throw the head to the back. Whoop. But sometimes girls can be a bit dizzy when they hang for, uh, to the front, so that's why I asked it. Lay all the hair to the back again. In this kind of cutting you don't need a, a cape. Hold my hand on the place in the center and only take away the thin midsection. So connect the left side to the right side and the right side to the left. But you certainly can see the difference in quality of hair. This was a cut, so now I can make her a call. Major a call. Major ultra light color, 
uh, a fan and a fan 20, so I get a little bit in cold shades. Did it to 9% a sturdy volume, <coughs> put in a step one of the grid protection system. Put on, of course, the protection for coloring. Okay, the towel and my world famous plastic color. We in the shop say always plastic, fantastic. But the nice thing of plastics is that in the Netherlands you can recycle them. Otherwise, I wouldn't use them. Free the hair. Start in the neckline. Putting my gloves on. And can apply the color. Take the first part of her uh, color. Apply it in the neckline. All the hairs. Massage it nicely in and lay it on the plastic foil. Take my next line, it's so one half centimeters. First, apply the color on the underline, then on the, the upper line, massage it into the hairs. And the nice thing of step uh, one into the product is that you don't uh, have any ammonia coming free. From the color, so you don't smell anything, it stays really lovely. Gonna do no heating on this hair, so I leave it the way it is. But first, I work up till I get on top and make my money makers. So, of course, I do all the hair. All the colors on my hair, part hair on the natural fall. Lift the hairs up in a line, take about uh, two centimeters hair, take a foil, bend it, lay it on the hair, take my bleach, it's only 6%, it's 20 volume, and what I told you is a step into the collar. And lay it on the collar hair. So the hair will be extra protected by the color goes in. Close this. Take the other section, a bit less. I don't like uh, symbols like uh, two, four, I just love asymmetrical symbols, so three, five, one, one is a little bit too, 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 too less, so I, I will make uh, three, and I make one on the parting. So I know that this part, she can throw it to that side, he's more blunt, and she, when she throws it to this side, she stays as long as normally is, and on both sides with a bit blonde color. This I let it work in, color for about 25 minutes. Because there's no much ammonia into this bleach and I made it in front the same time when I made the color. I know it's a little bit less aggressive, so I just leave it the same time. That will be nice blonde. When that's ready, I will gonna rinse it out and then gonna dry the hairs and show you the end result. Leave it the way it is, so it will not be warmed up. Hello, back from coloring. After a half hour we rinsed it out. Put in step two after rinsing out uh, with the conditioner. And now I'm going to blow dry it. Before I do that, I 
first put in a little bit of condition, it's a milk spray, it's a leave-in prote protection, and after that I put in a setting lotion. Brush this product through the hairs. The hairs are really nice condition. And what's also important, you don't see red spots on the skin. So I'm certain that it didn't irritate the skin at all. Pin there up. Start blow drying with a new blow dryer. You already saw it when you see all my videos, but for both of you that don't, uh, it's still a new blow dryer. The wonderful thing of this blow dryer is that it works like this. You can easily cut the tools off and they stay on, but also you can turn much easier. Cut myself a medium light elbow brush and start in the neckline. Now for sofa blow drying, but before I go stop with blow drying, I put on a polished product. It's, a, it's a, 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 an oil of glint, but it brings out the real nice colors and also the protection. And this I do with the last part of blow drying, blow dries it into the hair. I like it, huh? Yeah, like Uh, a new color with uh, money makers and of course a nice new trim on the house. I thank her for being mama. I thank you for watching. She will thank certainly you. turn and show the end result. We see each other next video. Yeah, Danique wants a color and she wants a small trim of her hair because uh, the ends are dry. Yeah. And uh, we're going for a light color and we're gonna make uh, money uh, make us to win in her hair. So, gonna light it up. Let's do it. want you to try. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's have fun. You can see the ends are a bit dry. So, but I'm gonna make her a standing haircut. <laughs> 